All right. So you probably never heard that progression either. Not a very famous song. Probably everyone and their mother has ever heard it. But it's kind of nice because now it's a little uplifting. We've gotten some major chords in there. We're not all, you know, sad candles and tissues. So we got G. Actually, let's start with a C. We're going to do the C twice. We're going to do the G twice. We're going to do the A. And then we're going to do the D. Now, on the A and the D, we're going to add those suspended chords like we were doing before. So, right? So, we got our trusty down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we would switch to G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we're going to go to A. When I do those, I'm going just downstroke and upstroke, and every upstroke is when I change those chords. Suspended fourth, D, suspended second, and back. So let's do the progression two, three times really slowly, and we'll mess around with it, and then we'll tweak it a little further from there. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to do it even slower than that. Let's do this. Here we go. So you get the idea. It's an awesome chord progression, really cool. You get different chords. You get a bunch of major chords together. And it's kind of a different, unique sound, right? We got the C to G. A lot of times it would be A minor, right, in that chord progression. But this time it's A, so it kind of lifts you up. It's like, ooh, that's happy. And then I'm totally happy now. It's D. Goodness gracious, right? Then. Once we get comfortable with that, we can experiment with the other chords. You can add your pinky on that C chord on the B string, third fret. Right, we can take off our ring finger on that G. Do more of the just two fingered A chord, right? And then we'll mess around with that D a bunch. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna give you an example. I'll play it medium tempo. Here we go. So mess around with that. Now let's do part two of that chord progression. All right, round two, here we go. A 
Watch this. Tears. <laughs> Fun tricks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of cut in half that C. And then we're gonna go to a G chord, same time, right? We're gonna go back to C, and this time we're gonna go to E minor. Then from there, we're gonna go C, G. So we're always starting with that C and G. And then we're gonna go to the D, but we're gonna hold it twice as long as we would normally do. Okay, so let's go. Here we go, really slow. Right, so it's just a cool chord progression to get wrapped around. You can play it all together. It's a super famous progression, but it's just another, you know, thing to show you how simple songs can be. There's only one addition, and it's actually kind of a substitution, right? Instead of playing the A, we went to E minor. But other than that, all the chords are the exact same in the song. So we just switched one chord, and not only did it change the feel, it totally changed the mood of the song. And then we just did the same old bag of tricks, and you end up with an awesome, awesome tune. So you can take that, we can do what we've done already, we can pick. do that I mean it, obviously it doesn't have to be complicated picking right we can strum it we can do all the cool little add-ons with the C chord and the G right we can use our first finger in that G chord again I was doing more of this kind of stuff taking off but you can do that kind of C shape G chord and use your first finger on the B string first fret and really have fun so uh, a lot of what people do is they'll take a song that they've learned or that they know really well, same exact chord progression, and just tweak it just a little bit, and you're making music. And that's really an easy way to do that. I mean, nine times out of 10, when a song comes out of me, it's because I was listening or learning to something, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. How can I tweak that a little bit and make it my own? So that's what we're doing in the beginning. We're limited with what our fingers can do, right? So it's little simple tricks to make it exciting. All right, we can go to that C add nine instead of this C. Just mix it up. Have some fun. All right, let's go on to the next. <laughs> 